Hello, I'm Chrissy Smith, and I'm grateful to get to spend a little time with you today sharing how God has been revealing himself to me and encouraging me through his word. So much around us now is confusing and uncertain, and God is inviting me, all of us, to be reminded and refreshed by the very foundations of our faith in him. My prayer is God help us, help me, to be reminded of who you are and what's important to you. One of these foundations is in Deuteronomy 6. I'll read verses 4 and 5. Listen, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one. You shall love your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. In this, Moses has been pleading with the Israelites to know God's commandments and to obey them. The word here used in Hebrew for listen actually, re actually means to respond or to obey. So it's more than just listening with our ears. It's responding in our life and obeying. This prayer of the Shema was so important, they were told to memorize it and pass it on to their children and all the children of future generations. Thank you, Lord, for reminding me to listen and to love. Jesus refers to this very commandment in Matthew 22 in response to the Pharisees trying to trap him with a question. Teacher, which is the most important commandment in the law of Moses? Jesus replied, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. The second is equally important. Love your neighbor as yourself. The entire law and all the demands of the prophets are based on these two commandments. These two commandments are foundations of our faith. I so desire to listen to the Lord and respond by receiving his unfailing love that he has poured out for me through his son, Jesus. And I truly want to love him with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength by following Christ and loving others. So I ask myself, what does it mean to be a disciple of Jesus, an apprentice of Jesus? And for me, it means spending time with him in prayer, meditation on his word, and silence listening to him. Becoming more like Jesus through the power of the Holy Spirit, transforming me, even me, as I surrender. And to do what Jesus did, to love everyone, no matter who they are, where they come from, and especially if they're my enemy. And then I ask myself this question, how am I assessing what I'm doing good at in being a follower of Christ? Do I measure my behavior or my accomplishments? my ministry accomplishments, or do I take the temperature of my true desire for God? If I am to love the Lord my God with all my heart, my soul, my strength, what kind of holy habits do I practice or pursue? For me, these past few years have been pretty difficult, and the practice of spending time in solitude and silence and prayer, this is when I've been able to surrender and God is training me to listen differently. As I take this place of quiet surrender, I'm able to hear the prayer of Deuteronomy just for me. Listen, Chrissy. Yield to my love for you and share it with everyone you meet. What are your holy habits? What are practices that put you in a position to hear the Lord, to hear his invitation to draw closer to him and to walk alongside Jesus? Is it prayer solitude and silence, fasting, reading scriptures, honoring the Sabbath. Whatever it is, I hope you can hear the invitation that God is offering you to know him and experience a deeper relationship, a close friendship with Jesus to listen and love. This is how they will know that we are disciples of Christ. This is how we can make more disciples. I hope you are blessed, and I thanks for spending time with me today.